This is uh, Rosham and Ruben Mihai. Uh, we're standing on the border of uh, Ukraine uh, in north of Romania. We're uh, seeing a lot of uh, refugees coming in Romania now. So in three, in the last three days, more than 50,000 refugees have already entered Romania. And it's just the beginning. Uh, many people are saying that the hundreds of thousands are to be expected. Up until now, some men have been able to come out, but after the martial law that has been passed, uh, all the men were drafted, and now only like women and children are uh, the ones that are coming out of Ukraine. So a lot of vulnerability, a lot of needs. If they want to come quickly through the border, they must not have more than a backpack with them. So you imagine they don't have the basic necessities with them. So we're trying to see what we can do to help. Uh, we've already uh, received a number of uh, demands to help in Bucharest. And now we're seeing what the situation looks like here in the north, in no the northwest, to see what we can do here to set up some uh, places for them to be uh, welcomed. So uh, we're, we're trying to coordinate efforts with multiple churches and institutions so that we can uh, be of uh, assistance to, the, to these people. Our hearts are broken for the Ukrainian people, for those who are fleeing for their lives, those who are in danger. We're praying constantly for them. And we're working together, as Ruben said already, to help find shelter for refugees, bedding, hygiene items, diapers, um, things that people need, even clothing, and also wanting to meet with them and pray with them and encourage them in such a difficult time. So please continue to pray for the situation in Ukraine, for those who are fleeing. Also, please pray for us and for Romania as we receive the refugees that we could care for them and show them the love of God, have opportunities to share about the hope that is in Jesus Christ in such a difficult time. People are helping us so much and we're so thankful for our hearts to make God preserve and help your families. Thank you that you are helping the people who are, who are fleeing Ukraine. We thank Jesus that he listens to our prayers and thank you that you are praying for us. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Amen. Amen. Right now I'm at a refugee shelter in Santo Mare, a border city with Ukraine. We're uh, trying to help them in practical ways to leave this temporary shelter and get to more permanent places, uh, residents, and uh, just able to encourage some refugees today, pray with them, and uh, some of them were singing a song. thanking God that he was with them and that he would help them at this time. Um, and there, I told them the world is praying for them and that churches are praying and interceding and giving and that everyone wants to help and that they're not alone. And they say thank you. And they say um, that they can feel a warm welcome in Romania and that they are thankful for the prayers of those who are standing with them. Thank you.